join me as we take a look at the shops in Western Plaza, one of Knox, West Knoxville's oldest uh, shopping centers. This is Greg McKay, your real estate advisor with Caldwell Banker Wallace. Um, it's got to be, Western Plaza has got to be one of the oldest. It was opened in 1959. They used to have a Kroger, Woolworth, Hall Brown uh, a clothing store, if you remember that long ago. Uh, I've got some interesting stuff about the, uh, the history beforehand that I'll talk about later. Uh, this is where they were going to add to the uh, add to the shopping center, and, uh, and it kind of went against, I think, the uh, Kingston Pike is a scenic route, and they were going to build a four-story building there and just uh, couldn't do it by state law. I think they tried to get the law changed and uh, kind of tried to pull a fast one on the people in Sequoia Hills. Uh, just a little advice for you political people, don't mess with the Sequoia Hills Neighborhood Association. Didn't work out, so um, here we are. We're back to the plaza. This is one of my favorite places, the Fresh Market. Man, this place is awesome. They got all kinds of fresh food and prepackaged stuff, and it's just, it's a very nice store. You ought to check it out if you haven't seen it. I'll give you an idea what's in there. Fresh flowers, all kinds of, and they got a lot of, a lot of fresh fruit, fresh meat, great, great butcher section. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, we were talking earlier about the history of uh, what was here before. There was a, a house called the, the Mellon House. It was built in 1838. Uh, it was called Four Mile Tavern at one point because this is four miles from what was Knoxville, which was downtown. I'm going to put the link to the Knoxville History Project here. Jack Neely has written an article about Western Plaza. It's very interesting. It, it bears looking out. Uh, it has a CVS. I'm going to show you a picture of a CVS inside in case you didn't know what one looked like. Uh, I found a lot of empty spaces here. This one was empty. Rocky Top something. I don't know what. Here's another one. Wild Eggs. Now, what is that? Is that a restaurant, I guess? A breakfast place? I don't know. Uh, I would think if you're going to start a business, you ought to indicate in the name what kind of business it is. But they're out of business. Uh, Runner's Market still here. A very popular place. And uh, here's one you're going to like, I think. A sticker they had on something. Uh, there's a lot of shops I didn't even they sell stuff for runners. A lot of shops I didn't even know. I didn't know there was a hair salon at Western Plaza, but there is. This is another popular place. I have not been there. If you've been there, I'd like to hear your opinion of it. Hard Knock Pizza. It always seems to do a good business. Um, and, uh, you know, their dining room is now open. Uh, looks like uh, just about everything is open now, which is good. Here's a little break. All right. Here's the house I was talking about earlier. It was built in 1838, and uh, they tore it down to build Western Plaza, which opened in around 1959. Um, as far as the empty stores, there's quite a few of them over here. I'd like to, uh, I don't know what's going to happen to retail. Uh, with the Amazon, with the Internet, that's a good question. Now, here's one of the, there's a nail place in here, Tippy Toes. Here's one of the most famous places. It's a barbershop. It's an old-timey barbershop in Western Plaza. Man, you can't even get in this place on Saturday morning. And they got a little rocker they put the kids in, that, that hobby horse, uh, and cut their hair while they're sitting there for the, for, the, for the toddlers. Joseph A. Banks is in a separate, newer part of the uh, center. Um, I like Joseph A. Banks. They got a nice selection of, of clothes. They're not real expensive, uh, but they're nice. Um, here's a new one coming in. It looks like it's going to be a, a hydrating and wellness, hydration and wellness place. So it's good to see some new businesses coming in. There's a, uh, uh, a Mexican grill. Not been there yet. I'd like to hear your opinion if you've been there. See, Tell me what you think about it. And they, they tore down a bank a few years ago and built this whole new section over here. And uh, there's a few shops in it. Um, a lot of empty spaces, though. A lot of empty retail around town, and uh, I don't know how that's going to work in the future. I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. Now, there's a behind, there's an under part to Western Plaza, too, down there by the ice skating rink. Used to have a lot of stuff down there. Tuesday morning was there. There was the Rathskeller a long time ago. Now, Bullman's is still there. It's a, a workout place, I think, you know, boxing or kickboxing or something like that. Kickboxing and Cray Maga. I don't know what that is. But anyway, they're still open down below Western Plaza in the backside down by the railroad tracks. Uh, but they seem to be about the only thing that's down there. So, you know, years ago when I was a kid, the place was full with restaurants and, and shops and everything else. But uh, 
They've got a big major uh, renovation plan, addition plan. Like I said, they ran into some stumbling blocks. With the, uh, this is the back end of it with the state law. And the so this is Western Plaza. Uh, I appreciate you watching. This is Greg McKay, uh, your real estate advisor. If you ever have any questions about real estate, feel free to call me. Uh, my advice is free, and I'll be glad to help you if I can. Thank you for watching.